Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here. Also known as The Model Reviewer and also known as Hornby Collector. Today's video I've got the Hornby GWR High Speed Train Set. This first came out in 2019 and is still available as a current item. You can see the packaging is quite nice. It's got some information down here. In August 1976, rail passenger travel British Rail's Western Region experienced a new way to travel to the West Country. With the introduction of a high-speed train, by the end of the year, passengers could travel at 125 miles per hour between London, Paddington and Reading, and the new high-speed trains in their eyes catching inner-city livery were providing levels of comfort and service not seen since the golden years of the Great Western Railway. Forty years on and with the West Country routes once more under control of the Great Western Railway, these record-breaking high-speed trains received a new GWR Green Fleet livery and are set to run high-speed services in the West Country for the foreseeable future. Now, when they've said that the eye-catching livery, they're talking about the original intercity livery, which was the yellow, blue, and grey. I think that was the one. So, yes, let's get on with the model in hand now. So you get a power car, a dummy car, and a Mark III. The picture, for some reason, depicts the model that Hornby used to produce during the, the late 70s and to the to the mid 2000s but in actual fact the tooling in this the model tooling in this train it doesn't actually feature the original um, Hornby tooling from the 70s or the latest HST tooling from 2009 onwards the, the, that would be the, the 300 pound loco you're not getting the 300 pound loco in this set for 120 pounds what you are getting is the former lima tool in hst which many modelers always thought that it was a much more better refined version of the hst model of the class 43 and so obviously Hornby has done some updates to it and incorporated they've done it not just for this model but other former Lima models they've introduced the British rail versions of Lima over to the Hornby brand and they've done some modifications over over here in or that over the years and what they've done is that they've more or less replaced all of the motors in the former Lima toolings to the more updated motors so they've removed the ring filled motors and in actual fact the last models to feature ring filled motors were actually Thomas the Tank Engine range so that's a little trivia for you right there so yeah without further ado let's open the box shall we Okay, what we get is eight bends, two straights, long straights, so R609s and R so the the R six so nines are the bends, and the straights are R six o ones. You get a point. This 
little device here that this is a really cool invention because what this allows you to do is it allows you to put the train on the tracks without having to mess with the fiddly carriages the actual bogies because they can be a bit of a nightmare to put on the track so you just simply put that up on the track like so and then you run the, the train from here carriage and down This is your power connector. And you get two two more straights underneath that. So there's three straights in total. If you include the power connector. You get an analog controller. And this control is quite nice actually because you get fourteen volts DC uncontrolled power source. So you can plug in light in or anything that's fourteen volts or power your your points or anything like that. That's where you can run it from this controller. It's pretty cool. No additional power supply needed. This is your UK plug. We have three pins in the UK and everywhere around the world has two. This is the power car. As you can see, it is very similar in configuration to the um, highly uh, top quality detailed uh, HST tooling, as this is more or less identical, this part. So they've copied that, but they've obviously put the new motor in. It's not a central driven motor, and the grill is not visible through. You can actually see through the grill on the top quality one. The roof is obviously quite well molded detail, of course. It is, the, it is identical to what Lima released. So if you've got old Lima train set, you'll notice exactly the same. But I said the motor has been re refitted. So it's, a, it's an up-to-date motor for today. So it's actually quite a smooth runner. It's got pickups in all fours, which is pretty good. It only has one white LED for the headlights. It doesn't have directional lighting. But obviously, you have to sacrifice some things for the price you're going to pay. Here's a Mark III coach. You get it's got a running number. Only problem with these coaches is that they are what you call railroad detailed, so they don't have any enhanced livery on them, so they don't actually match up with the actual existing Hornby range of Mark III coaches so you if you're if you want to if you if you've got OCD like I have your best bet is to basically just put this coach to one side and buy the coaches from the normal range and put them in and you more or less won't be able to tell the difference especially when it's running I've got the top quality model in pretty much every single livery they ever did but I bought this one because I wanted a cheap runner. So I didn't have to quite worry about the maintenance side. This, there's not really much can go wrong with this one. And to the naked eye, no, not, not everyone would know. So, and this is, like I said, this is a dummy car. It's got no pickups at all on it. There's no LED light at all. It's just a standard dummy car. You also get a buffer replacement traction tires. And a train set mat. If 
if you were to buy everything in this set separately, you would be looking anywhere between 160 to 200 pounds. So, that's it. That's everything that's included in the set. And your Mark III coach. So I think I said before, put so I put the train Yeah, you get the idea. Put the train on the thing and it just runs down the tracks. Power supply. Your mains connector. As I said before, it's a decent buy, really, because you you are getting quite a lot for your money here. And like as, as I said, if you were to buy everything separately, you would pay up to two hundred pounds. So buying this set, if you want all these items, it's a great deal. But at the moment, it's the only way to get a hold of this train in the Hornby range. They don't sell it separate in this in this livery they did do the original hst livery in the railroad range and that was for 120 pounds which is really weird actually if you think about it because you're getting this track the power supply the mat and the the mark free coach for the same price but anyway sometimes life doesn't make sense so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe bye for now